All right, here we are all the way up to blue belt. So for your blue belt testing, and again, this is not kata performance here at all. What we're doing is just the real basics, the fundamentals, just to get the throws down pat enough for your testing. So the first throw in the blue belt series is called sumi geishi. We're going to show the three angles again. Standard judo grip. And what I'm trying to do and attempt to do is get my right foot hooked in behind his left leg. And when you do so, have your partner stand wide apart. You're going to shoot in a little bit with your left first, and then your right is going to come up and hook that. He's going to be going back and over and doing basically a forward zempo kaiten, or forward rolling right fall. So it looks like this. Other angle. Nice and wide for the uke. Shooting in, right foot on left leg, hook it in behind, and a little bit of a pull this direction, but the uke really is doing all the work with his forward rolling right fall. Here we go. And from the last angle, let's see the foot placement a little easier on this. Sumigashi. Alright, next in the Blue Belt series, we're going to practice Tani Otoshi. There's a few different versions of this one. We're just going to show the very basic, fundamental Tani Otoshi, where the partner is going to go up for a little high grip. That turns his body enough that I can get my left leg in behind his two legs, fall, drop, and take him with you. And always come up on top of your partner so you get the point. Sometimes if you fall, and you also fall, it's the referee's decision of who got the point. So make sure you come up on top of your partner. So he's going to take a high collar grip. Tani Otoshi. Notice the entire time I'm pulling down that elbow. Pulling down that elbow, which is what takes him to the ground, as well as really commit to the body drop. Tani Otoshi. All right, next one in the Blue Belt series, Sukui Nege. It's a little bit of a different one. So you can't really do this one in slow motion, but we'll try on the first angle here. Kane is going to come at me with a high collar grip. This hand, at the same time, is coming across his body, and I'm going into a squat position. So without Kane here, my Tori position is like this, and the Uke is going to fall behind me, like so. And the Tori just stands here. The uke does all the work. Try it on the other angle. Okay, and a little easier to see from this angle, I think, the third angle. Tori just forces with this hand the uke behind, and the uke does the fly and the flop. Sukui nege. Next in the Blue Belt Gokyo, we're going to practice Utsuri Goshi. So this is a switching hip in mid-air uh, throw. So describing it the best I can, walking this through slow motion, he's going to come for a left high collar. I'm going to basically squat down, bear hug him, pick him up. As he's in mid-air, I'm coming in for an Ogoshi. Okay, so in fast motion, this is how it looks. You switch the hips mid-air. Let's try it from the other angle. Mitsuri Goshi comes in for that left high collar. Okay, be able to see it a little nicer from the third angle, I think. Mitsuri Goshi. Okay, here we are in the Blue Belt series still. Oguruma is our next practice technique. Very similar to the Green Belt throw Ashiguruma. Ashiguruma, the placement of the foot is here. Oguruma is a little bit higher up by the belt, but very similar to the Green Belt Ashiguruma. So we'll do it slow motion first. We're gonna do a pivot, so we're taking the left foot here, and then we're gonna pivot on it, 
We're going to have a nice high foot placement here using your Kazushi and leg wheeling him over. So we'll do this in normal speed. From the other angles. One more angle. That's Oguruma. Here we are with the next throw in the Blue Belt series, Uki Otoshi. Now this is also the first throw when you're testing for your black belt in the Nage no Kata series. So when you practice your kata, this will be the first throw in it. But it's part of the Blue Belt Gokyo. So we're going to practice it nice and slow motion. I'll show you and walk you through what you do. It's going to be a sugiyashi step, two, and then the third one, the tori goes down on one knee, keeping live toes. And the Tori is just going to do a flick of the wrist here. The Uke again is going to do all the work doing a forward rolling break fall that way. And he's going to be tossed. And I'm going to remain motionless here at the end. Let's see it. One, two, three. The Tori is trying to remain as motionless as possible, and the Uke is doing all the fly. Here we go. from the third angle. Uki Otoshi. Okay, next in the Blue Belt series, we're going to do Soto Makakomi. Now, any Makakomi is kind of hard on the Uke for repetitive practice over and over and over. So you want to bring out a trash mat just for your repetitive practice. When you're doing your blue belt testing day, you can eliminate the crash mat. But for now, we're going to practice with the mat. So we don't kill poor Kane here. Soto Makakomi is going to be arm over arm, leg over leg. And I'm doing a forward rolling break fall. The Tori does the forward rolling break fall. And you, you pretty much end up landing on his arm. So watching this at normal speed. And from the other angle. That's Soto Makakomi. Okay, last one in the Blue Belt series, Hani Makakomi. So this one is harder on the Uke as well, like Soto Makakomi, so we're going to use the crash mat again. Hani Makakomi. Just like Hani Goshi, we're going to have the prop up. So you're going to have a bent knee propping up that leg with the Soto position up top. So in slow motion, we're going to be in this position, and then we're going to prop up and over. Again, Tori doing the forward rolling break fall. Regular speed. And from the other angle. Hani Makakomi. Okay, here we are in the blue belt Gokyo still, and we're doing the first choke. This is called Sankaku Jume. Many ways to approach this choke, but what I like to do is Uke's arm up, right leg across throat, and fall back. Now get your triangle position, left leg over, arm up, squeeze. From the other angle, a little more at speed now. His arm up, that across, get your triangle, and squeeze. Sankaku Jume. Okay, so the next in the series for blue belt testing is Ude Hishigi Hiza Gatame. Hiza means knee in Japanese, so that's how you can remember this. We're going to do a little knee push. I'm going to be pushing out Kane's knee. So we start in this position, facing one another. I'm going to go down. As I go down onto my butt, I'm going to push his knee out. I'm going to put my left foot on his belt. That's to spread him out so that I can wrap his arm into the arm lock. At the beginning, you're going to wrap it so it's locked in. Second step, down on your butt, push his knee out. 
Third step, against the belt. Fourth step, apply pressure to the elbow. Let's do it in a little more regular speed. From this angle, starting here, wrapping the arm. So it's almost an armbar position here. Knee push, belt push. Ude Hishigi Hiza Gatame. Next in the Blue Bell Gokyo, Waki Gatame. It's kind of a self defense move. Um, you can bring your partner into it by wrapping his arm and into the squat position until he taps. Or your partner can reach across for the cross grip. You grab that arm, squat, always pressure down on the elbow joint. A little more at speed. Waki Gatame. Next in the Blue Belt series of arm locks, Ude Gurami. So I'm going to move this arm out of the way. The opponent is going to put his arm towards. I'm going to grab, bend it backwards, come across his body, grab my own wrist, and arm bar. Now there's two versions you can do. I like monkey paws grip, thumb out. You just don't have as much control. So monkey paws is like this. When you're grabbing your own wrist, same thing. And bringing that arm tight towards his body. So again, here, he brings his arm up, grab it, bring it down, and bring it in tight towards the body. This elbow is going up. I'm just exaggerating it. When it's in tight towards the body, slight turn up, and that's the tap. Okay, last one in the Blue Belt Gokyo. Ude Hishigi Ude Gateme. So we're gonna move this arm out of the way. Our opponent is going to come attack us with this arm. We're gonna stop him with our right knee, grabbing with our left hand, around trapping this with the neck, and bringing that elbow joint around till he taps. So that's slow, slow motion. Now we'll do a little regular speed. Comes up, trap with the neck, pull that around. Ude hishigi, ude gatame. 